And take two, ladies and gentlemen. You might be saying, hey, that's not your normal intro. Where's the hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist. This is like a video game, or, or welcome back to Residents of Fate. Uh, it's basically because I. Okay, so I was doing a recording session. I. For. It was literally like an hour and a 55 minute recording session, and during like the last minute or so, my computer decided to restart, and although. Audacity managed to keep all the uh, voice audio perfectly fine. My game audio, my game footage was all completely gone. So now I'm going to have to start all over again. In the meantime, starting off on good footing, and I have to get this up because it's the video needs to go up tomorrow. So yay me! Um, I messed around with uh, Zephyr's stuff. Now you can see that he's super OP now. Oh man, now all the customizations that it. This is. Man, what a bunch of jokers. I made it so that it wouldn't. Ah, whatever. Anyway, without further ado, um. Let's go. Oh, well, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to go to equip, go to Zephyr. Instead of having the cold padding give him the ice resistant vest, let's go ahead and take on the boss. We should be able to beat him, no problem, actually. Fifth time's a charm! Just making sure that the game doesn't mess up on me. This is a bunch of baloney. Cannot believe that this happened. Alright then. There we go. Yeah, so with the high amount sights, I'm able to shoot multiple times. Which is... I mean, I'm able to charge a lot quicker than I was before. So, that's what we do. Shoot him. Rinse and repeat. Now, is he gonna freeze him? No, he's not. I don't know why, in like the previous times, despite the fact that I have like an ice vest on, like he froze him like a bajillion million times for one reason or another. Alright. Alright, we leveled up. Good. That's cool. Uh, that gives us our health back. Apparently. Someone point someone pointed out that out in the comment section, I do believe, so. Okay. Shoot. Alrighty then. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Alright, so what we're gonna do this time is we're going to run this way, focus on the Shady McThug so that we can get back our, uh, whatchamacallit, get back our bezels. Now, killing the Shady McThug is interesting, Thug MG is interesting because sometimes I get one bezel back, sometimes I get two. It's hard to say. Alright, so, I'll just shoot you, and, alright, you got two back from that. Okay, we're gonna go this way, go this way. And then start to build up their what we call it. So shoot. There we go. There we go. Cannon Colossus. He's probably gonna tr go straight for Zephyr though, or Vasherin. No, he's not. Okay, good. There we go. We're gonna go this way from the side. Well, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, no big deal. What, you, what we can do is this. And, oh, okay, sure, please don't freeze him. He didn't freeze him this time. There's no guarantee that he won't freeze him at all, though. Okay. Okay, we got our bezel back. Ouch. Zephyr is in some serious pain. Okay, so what we're going to do is this. Jump in the air. Luckily, like, I, I feel like if he had actually shot me... If he had actually got me with that, like, I would have actually been frozen. Actually, 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 actually. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's see. We got, we only got one, oh, because he's not dead yet. Please don't freeze him. Okay. Shoot. There we go, dead. Now let's run. Two, three, four, five, six, jump into the air a little bit. And, could you please focus on, turn towards Zephyr, please, please. No, he's going to do that. Ouch. Alright, no big deal, I suppose. We can still hit him, I think. There we go, yes, we can. Okay, so let's go this way. One, two, three, four, five, blah, 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 blah. All right. So, I'm not going to say anything out loud because that's going to cause like a jinx, but 
Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, so... Alright, there we go. Dead. Okay, so there's that boss taken care of. Again. Cold medicine times one. Alrighty then, so let's go ahead and get out of here. So, luckily, I equipped uh, Zephyr with a first aid thing so we can just use an escape hex and get out of here. Uh, okay, so. Let's see here. I'm, now I'm trying to retrace my steps here. I had to, I had to resist the urge to just skip past that. Can we? Yeah. Luckily, we can actually. Yeah, the exit is right there. For random encounters, like it, it seems like you can actually run away from random encounters, which uh, surprised me a little bit actually. So let's go ahead and get out of here, flee from combat. Well, it, it depends on the random encounter actually, but it seems like you can. I had to resist the urge not to skip that cutscene that happened because it's like, oh, I'd already seen that before. Yay! Okay. Another random encounter, which I don't feel like going through, so let's go ahead and go through this. Probably gonna start rushing through things since that happened. Can't believe that happened. Yeah, it's like Audacity. Audacity was fine. Audacity was fine. Um, it's just that the game footage was completely lost for one reason or another. Hmm. But oh well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Elevator. Which is quite interesting that it worked out like that. Because normally, because I've had like uh, my video, or I've had like my game capture, uh, game footage stuff like crash before, but the game footage stayed, the game footage stayed on the hard drive. But this time, like it was just. <laughs> yeah, but like that was the thing. It's because like there's this thing with Windows 10, right? Where like some, like, where like, um,. If you don't change a setting or something, like, it'll automatically restart for updates without warning you at all. Now, you can change this setting. Now, you can change it so that it warns you and you can schedule it, which I did, but for some reason, despite the fact that I... Despite the fact that nor under normal circumstances, um, it does warn me it didn't during a recording session, which is absolutely amazing. So... Let's go ahead and get out of here. I did a couple side missions and everything. Uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and continue. められ Hey, mission complete! And this is where I made the remark on how we did all that to get cold medicine for someone who actually, when we came back, wasn't didn't have a cold. I was like, oh, these game directors are so evil. Would you like to save your progress? Yes, please. So we have slot. So slot one is obviously where we we're going to want to start over. Start over again. You see, the last day was 19 hours and 19 minutes, but actually, that was before. Uh, we did the, uh, dungeon. Alright, let's start over again. Let's go ahead and... Oh, we already did that. ん。<笑><笑> とにかくあれだろう。え、なんだっけ。そう、わかるぞ。間違いない。見つけたものに幸福をもたらすという天ちゃんの星。こんなにいっぱい私の頭上に輝いて、からに。<笑> 
証が本当ならばいやーばあちゃんは正直者で有名だったじいちゃんはどうだったこれあれChapter 7 The Star Vein Kormyak? Ah, Dokutsu Tanken da. Yakai na shigoto na no ka? Ah, chotto na. Something isn't closing along with the letter. We got a yellow energy hex, a purple energy hex, a Corlith 3 pass. Eh, actually, it really, all, all things considered, with the exception of one room. Hey, the guild sent us a bonus for upping our red hunter rank. Okay, we got that. Yeah, because ev ev the way that it, I, found, I found it is the way that it works is this, the way that the stars work is every 100 stars you get, you're able, you're, able, you're able to get some rewards for that. So that's what we got since we have 315. I should remark that the reason why I skipped went through went to the straight wait straight to the ne to the l -l -l -l. went straight to the next chapter without doing any of the mission memo stuff is because I actually already did one of the I actually already did the missions that I wanted to do. And that's how I got like that really big drum thing for Zephyr. Now what I need to do is actually re-equip everything with uh, Leanne. So give her that. Take off the uh, electrical. Give uh, Zephyr the magazine case. Give her the first aid kit. Cold. Okay, auto trigger. Bolt padding. Uh, what was it? I wanted the barrier padding. And then we can actually take off some of this ice resistance stuff because you don't really need it anymore. Give her, I'll give him the cold padding. And Bastion will get the. Not the ice resistance vest. The auto trigger. And the bolt padding. So, what was it that I wanted to do? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, that's that. I didn't, even in the original recording, I didn't even make a reaction to the crazy guy. I was like, oh, well, he's crazy. I wanted to say something, but then, like, the next cutscene came, so I was like, eh. But anyway, yeah, the, the next dungeon really isn't that bad, um, all things considered. Um, there is, like, a room in there that was kind of annoying, and it's kind of annoying that I have to go through it all over again. Uh, I spent like 20 minutes on that room, but I think since I have a better strategy, I might be able to get through it in 19 minutes instead. <sighs> but it is what it is. It's a good thing that I managed to get all of my school work, school work done today. Otherwise, I'd have been even more angry than I am right now. Alrighty then. Yeah, it's a good thing that it's the first week of school, so I don't really have like super OP amounts of stuff to do. Alright, let's go ahead and sell stuff. Let's see what we got here. Uh, if I sound like really grump grumpy throughout the rest of this recording session, I'm sorry. It's just, it is what it is. Um, I just that was a good recording session too. I managed to get everything done nice and simple. Um, and then the gate, and then the fates decided to screw with me and go like, whoa, blah blah. I don't know what blah blah is, but uh, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to mess with their stuff, take out these crappy sights that everyone has. Um, this compact scope, a sell those off and um, get the get some high. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Get some high amount scopes. Okay, so it's a compact scope alpha. The dot sight, get rid of that. All right, now we're gonna go over here. Okay, high mount sight. Get a couple of these. Yeah, but like as you can see, like getting like a customizing the gun is very very important in this game. Like it really is, because um, we went from being able to at max doing like we went from being able to at max do like a twelve charge to being able to do nineteen point seven on the boss because of that. Alrighty then. We got like an expander barrel, but we don't have any, whatchamacallit, so let's go ahead and scrap down the stuff that we don't need. 
Synthesis, 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 synthesis. Uh, okay. Alright, nothing to break down. I thought that we did, but oh well. Alright, but anyway, getting into things. Right around here I started uh, talking about how, um... Um, I did, I did a little research on the game, like I did like a, I looked at a text walkthrough, a game facts to see the best, the best strategy to beat the boss. Um, that's how I, and that's how I came about with, uh, customizing Zephyr's gun the way that I did. I didn't have all, I couldn't afford all the things that they recommended, but you know, for what it's worth, that's, I did the best that I could. Okay, we got that. Now we're going to want to talk to him. Ah, oh, it's you once again. You're going to help me once more? We're hoping to have a new pair of eyeglasses made for the young miss, you see. No, of course I don't especially to grab lenses. That would be ridiculous. If you know of a skilled optician, I would like you to deliver this material commission a set of lenses to be made from it. Accept the item. Yes, please. Alrighty, then. Let's see here. I don't know. I still don't know where to find the uh, a, an optician. Yeah, we can't. We can't really. Well, there. Oops. Uh, uh, we'll we'll read that later. But yeah, apparently this game actually has uh, 16 chapters, so we're on chapter 7, so we're getting close to the halfway mark, and as far as Trials and Tribulations is concerned, we're um, on the third case, and we're almost finished with the third case, getting close to the fourth case, I think, so um, now it's time to start figuring out like games I'm going to be playing next. Um, I did mention how I'm not going to be playing um, Apollo Justice right after Justice for All, because I was like... Because, you know, ever since December of last year, with the exception of, of a two-week break where I did Sonic Heroes and, um, Sonic Heroes and Sonic, uh, or, yeah, not Sonic Heroes, Sonic Mega Collection Plus and It'll Do, it's been nothing but Ace Attorney for, like, the past, like, nearly year, which doesn't really bother me. I've been excited. I love Ace Attorney. Clearly, like, clearly you guys do, too, but... I thought that, um, it's time to just break things up a bit. And I mentioned how... I, back when I first rebooted the channel, it was a lot easier to choose games, but now it's sort of gotten to the point where it's kind of harder to choose games because, like, I'm sort of like, I've started, I'm starting to develop like an established audience with like established tastes and everything, so I have to be really careful. Mostly as it, as it stands, I've been just been playing like a bunch of Japanese-made games, which doesn't really bother me. But it's but it's going to even like more subsets. So you have like JRPGs and visual novels. Someone did recommend that I play like a uh, Ghost Trick right after I do. Um, after I finish Justice for All, which I think I'm thinking of doing. I want to do the Trauma Center games, but, you know, only the first one's available on the DS. Now, I do have a Wii, which I imported from Japan, which means I'd be playing the Japanese copies of Trauma Center, but with all that with all that technical medical jargon that I'm sure that they're going to be using, that'd be a nightmare to translate so that you guys can understand as well, and it's like, la 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 No. No. Maybe one of these days. I'd like for it, I'd like for it to get a Steam... I'd like for it to get a Steam, Steam release, but that's probably not going to be happening anytime soon. Um, yeah, so maybe Ghost Trick. And then, as far as, like, then, like, as far as JRPGs are concerned, I don't really have, like, op I don't really have, like, OP amounts of consoles. I have, like, my 360, which doesn't have, like, a lot of JRPGs on it, my original Xbox, my PlayStation, a Wii that I imported from Japan, a, D a DS, a Game Boy Advance SP, and a low-grade computer, so, like, you know. And I've looked up, you know, like, good JRPG games, um... For 360, people seem to be rec recommending the same games. Tales Tell of Asperia, which I've already done. Eternal Sonata, which I've already done. Resonance of Fate, which I'm obviously doing right now. Uh, uh, Lost Odyssey. Lost Odyssey, which um, I had already done. Now really in again. I forgot to do it in the previous recording session. Lost Odyssey, which I'm thinking of doing. I was, I've was i sort of been debating on whether or not I want to start that right after this game, though, because Lost Odyssey is a game that's... um, Like... Like, it's a game that's I don't think is considered to be hard overall, but like the first three chapter, the first three bosses are sort of considered to be the some of the hardest bosses throughout the entire game. So it's sort of just like I don't know, going through this game where it's kicking my butt. I kind of want to go to something that's a bit more moderate in difficulty. So then there's then uh, those yeah. So those were the four common games: Lost Odyssey, Tales of Asperia, Eternal Sonata, Resonance of Fate. Then there are other games like some people said, oh these are good. Some people said, oh these are these are all right, like uh, Near and Star Ocean. I decided that I probably wouldn't do near, but I might do the Star Ocean game. So I'm running out of games, but you know, with uh, I'm I haven't checked how long um the Star Ocean game is, but I'm pretty sure that if I do both of those games, both that and Lost Odyssey, that's combined to a total of like 90 hours, which for uh, 
like uh let's play purposes that'd probably give me that's probably like a good like year and a few months maybe so i'm still fine on that and then i still have ghost trick maybe which i might be doing but i don't know it was just it was just one of those things there was i felt like there's something else about that that i that i said in the previous recording the in the on the non-canon recording session that i didn't quite mention in this one but oh well i'm sort of just passing time at the moment we're not going to go into the next episode but I don't want to end this episode off too early because of the factor in all the cuts that I made. Or not all the cuts that I made. Factor in the fact that I had to cut out some footage. Yes, think at this moment right now, if the other thing had been gone had gone over, I'd be editing I'd probably be editing editing the audio for tomorrow's or for the recording session, but I can't do that. Hmm, let's see here. Let's see. I mean we don't have like a we don't have like we have like an extra like SMG. Oh, I thought we had like an SM extra SMG barrel. I guess we don't. Anyway, like the missions I did in the previous chapter were like this thing with Garigliano where we had to like dress casual for him. And then he gave us this book that we gave to uh, the lady in the clothing place and we got some stuff from that. I didn't do the other two because the rewards didn't seem to be very good aside from like extra stars. And they and from the text walkthrough that I saw, they seemed to be kind of tough. Also, I found out that the previous chapter is not the only will not be the only time where there will we'll, where where we will have less than three party members. Um, I don't know when those other times are going to happen, but apparently there's going to be multiple times where we'll be stuck with just two party members, and another time where we might even where we'll even be stuck with just one party member. But they, which is kind of annoying, but yeah, it is what it is. Oh, oh, how could you look that up? Why did you spoil that? Well, I mean, I don't really consider that to be a spoiler myself. Ah, uh, er. Oh, I was. I gave her the stealth voice. Ah, oh, I was hoping that would stay hidden. Hairband BFF. Um. What was I saying again? Um. But yeah, it's like for this series, you've already seen. My, like it's like sure that would have been a surprise, but you've already seen my reaction for it. Even if it hasn't happened, you've already seen my reaction for it because this game has pulled all sorts of stupid stuff throughout this series where it's like eh, and it's like I'm not I'm not uh it's like the re the reaction that I would do to that would you've already seen it essentially if you've been watching the series long enough that's all there is to it <laughs> I'm glad that I found that out ahead of time um let's see oh I mean I still I like I I don't know like I if I'm getting out the impression that I don't like the game I do like the game I do like the game. I'm not a big fan of having to go through lo lo uh, super long dungeons twice in a row and long recording sessions twice in a row, especially now that I have school going on. But that's a different story for a different time altogether. Um, I think overall, like, like I don't know, like the game, the, ga the game is the game is fun. Um, it has a very fun combat system when you're actually getting things done. I love this. Uh, the characters I love the story, even if it's told in like one of those weird non-linear styles. I love the art. I love the uh, music and everything. It's just the bosses that are really the biggest issue with me. But luckily, the next boss won't be that bad. He'll probably still kill me a couple of times, but um, he's not that bad. Bestiary, we've already seen. I guess now would be the time to end off this episode and continue off with the next two, so I'll see you guys in the next episode.